The modernity of the Western countries certainly amazes the world, but nowadays most people prefer the luxury that is closer to the nature. This is the reason why most of the tourists now prefer to visit Eastern countries, especially the United Arab Emirates. Thanks to its unique high-rise and modern buildings, Dubai has become a center of attraction for tourists from all over the world. From the Burj Khalifa to Ibn Battuta Mall and Palm Beach, the architecture here is some of the most unique in the world, but it doesn't stop there. If you are fond of tourism, every year you visit Dubai, you will get to see some new and interesting construction here. This is Royal Atlantis, another landmark of Dubai innovation, which has completely changed the concept of luxury lifestyle. 185 meters above the sea level and spread over an area of 63 hectares. This mega project of $1.4 billion consists of 43 floors on the coast of Dubai. Tourists who are interested in architecture are amazed by structure of this building because this luxurious, charming and ornate building built in the form of blocks feels like a palace of dreams. Built on the crescent of Palm Jumeirah, this modern landmark of Dubai Royal Atlantis has a breathtaking view of the Green Sea of the Arabian Gulf on one side and the famous Dubai skyline on the other side, giving visitors a glimpse of a modern world. Palm Jumeirah is one of the most popular places in the world for those who love to live in penthouses. The Palm Jumeirah is the famous palm tree-shaped man-made archipelago known for its luxury developments and upscale living. The Royal Atlantis Dubai's location on the Palm Jumeirah adds to its exclusivity and offers stunning views of the surrounding area. The Royal Atlantis has introduced various design innovations for the first time in the world. Its exterior is designed by renowned New York City architects Patterson Fox Associates, while Sibyl de Margerie from Paris was hired for its luxurious and stunning interiors. The lobby of the building has been designed keeping in mind the concept of water, a precious gift of nature. Inside the lobby is a striking sculpture named Droplet which represents the first drop of water falling in the barren desert. It also has a tank with 4,000 jellyfish, described as the largest in the world. The luxury building of Royal Atlantis consists of sky courts, penthouses, and garden suites, ranging from 1,500 to 17,000 square feet. In 2018, Omniat, another modern building in Dubai's business hub, had the honor of selling Dubai's most expensive penthouse, priced at around $27.5 million. Now the 35th, 36th, and 37th floors of the Royal Atlantis are home to the most expensive penthouses in Dubai's history, priced at around $50 million. The 25,000 square feet, five bedroom penthouse has three floors and two outdoor terraces with private pools. It is said to be the costliest in the market, with an asking price of about $49 million when it went on sale in September 2021. Beautiful fountains greet you as you enter this masterpiece resort. Here, the fire flickers every few seconds and presents a mesmerizing sight. It is called Firefalls that is designed with two highly reflective glass walls that dazzle viewers with dancing water fountains and flames. The architecture of Royal Atlantis is divided into two towers, one for resort and the other for residential purposes. About 500 meters long and 178 meters high, this mega structure is designed in the form of blocks of suits stacked playfully atop each other in accordance with the game called Jenga. It's a very different aesthetic from its nearby sister property, Atlantis the Palm. Where the palm is pink and regal, the Royal Atlantis is more neutral and modern. While designing the Royal Atlantis, great care has been taken to ensure that no block of the building is prone to collapse. The spaces between these blocks have been shaped into outdoor courts that are not only naturally ventilated, but also offer sweeping views of Dubai and the Arabian Sea. The hotel and residence's towers are joined together by a spa bridge, which has a 90-meter sky pool at a height of 100 meters. The terraces connected by this bridge with pools, lounges, and cabanas designed in a style that evokes an oasis. This unique luxury building in Dubai is built in the shape of the English letter S. The luxurious rooms of the Royal Atlantis also feature private swimming pools, landscaped gardens, and other amenities on elevated hanging terraces. The rooms are also neutral and airy with plush white beds, dark wood sliding doors, and touches of gold throughout. There are 92 pools in the entire building that includes 22 infinity pools, 
The facility of private infinity pools with other two adult-only pools is also provided in the 44 signature penthouses and suites. Construction of Royal Atlantis began in 2014, while site work began in 2016 to complete the project in 2020. But its completion was delayed due to various technical challenges, while the global outbreak of COVID also played a significant role in the delay. The construction of Royal Atlantis was indeed a huge challenge, and its complex structure required advanced engineering and unparalleled skill. 45,000 tons of steel, 5,500 tons of structural steel, 15,000 square meters of marble, and 130,000 square meters of glass fiber reinforced concrete were used to make the design of the Royal Atlantis Two Towers and the Sky Bridge a reality. About 90,000 square meters of glass has been used for the exterior decoration of Royal Atlantis, which is equivalent to 10 FIFA football fields. This unique and innovative 43-story building has a total of 231 luxury apartments, 693 hotel rooms, and 102 suites, each of which has a wonderful view of the Palm Jumeirah and the Arabian Sea. Apart from this, 17 world-class restaurants are also part of Royal Atlantis, where award-winning chefs have been hired to serve the guests. Culinary excellence is often a significant aspect of the guest experience here. Dinner by Heston Blumenthal and Jaleo by Jose Andre were first two restaurants to open in the Royal Atlantis. Others include Milos by Costas Spiliadis, La Mar by Gaston Acurio, Hakasan, and Ariana's Kitchen by Ariana Bundy. The resort is expected to boast state-of-the-art facilities, including spas, fitness centers, multiple swimming pools, private beach access, and various recreational activities. The Royal Atlantis is also a shopping destination in itself, with multiple resort chic boutiques, home decor stores like Tanagra, and a Valentino boutique, to name a few. The opening ceremony of Royal Atlantis was held on 21st and the 22nd of January, 2023, and was attended by the royal family and many VIP guests. According to reports, Beyonce was paid $24 million for a two-day performance at the event. The international DJ trio behind chart-topping songs like Don't You Worry Child, Save the World, and Moth to a Flame also played a set at the opening. In January 2023, the ruler of Dubai Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum visited Atlantis the Royal Hotel. The resort supports the Dubai Economic Agenda, D33's goal to consolidate the city's position as one of the world's top three global cities for tourism and business. During his visit, Sheikh Mohammed said the private sector continues to be a key partner in Dubai's development journey and a vital contributor to realizing its growth aspirations. He added that public-private sector partnerships are at the heart of Dubai's development vision and a key driver of vital sectors like tourism. In short, the Royal Atlantis Dubai contributes to the overall tourism landscape of Dubai, enhancing the city's reputation as a global hub for luxury travel and leisure. It is a world where there is so much beyond imagination that probably could not be seen anywhere in the world in one place because Dubai is always ready to surprise tourists and its guests. Have you visited the Royal Atlantis in Dubai, or do you have plans to visit soon? Please share your opinion about it. Share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.